Hi guys and welcome back to Chips Green World. Today we're going to be rescuing, repotting and reshaping three of my topiary box balls that need some drastic attention. So without any further ado, let's get on with this week's vlog. Hi and welcome back to Chips Green World. I'm Chip, this is the courtyard, that's good. Flower, that's Gypsy Boy, the work, the job. Join us on our adventures. Let's get to work. Hi guys and welcome to Rescue, Report and Reshape. This is one of the box topiary balls that we're going to be addressing today and the other two are in the ground over by the little potting shed. They're not looking too good and I don't think they're very happy. I'll just fill you in on a bit of a backstory about all three. All three used to be in very tall pots, terracotta pots. There was four overall and here is the fourth one still in its pot. This one is glazed so this must be the reason why it hasn't sank. They were in them pots for around 10 years and in that 10 year period they sank 10 to 12 inches. Therefore all the bottom branches lost all their leaves and they became little domes rather than topiary balls. So I repotted them, two in the ground and one in a spare pot I had. And uh, the one in the pot has done rather well, but the two in the ground, not so good, got hit hard by a frost also. So today is the day I'm going to rescue, reunite, repot and reshape. First step, let's get all three into the potting shed. This one seems to have settled in rather well which is a good sign, healthy root system. Right, so that's that one up. Looking good, quite pleased with it. Get the majority of the soil off. There'll be a lot more soil coming off because they're going into very small pots and I'll show you that in the potting shed. Now on to the third and final one. I'm not too confident about this one, but we'll see how it goes. Ooh. Not good sign at all, that came out way too easily. But I'm not going to give up on the little fella. There's nothing more rewarding than saving a little life. Right, so that's them two up. Let's get them into the potting shed and then we'll start repotting. Alright, so before we start repotting, I'm just going to go and have a quick coffee and I'll be back with you in a jiffy. Right, so let's start off with the one in the pot. Take it out of the pot, get a little rake, rake all the old compost away. I'm going to take this down to at least third the size because the pots they're going in are rather small. And the reason for small pots is the design won't work with big ones. This kind of technique is mostly used on bonsais. Right, now for the new compost. I'm going to add at least six handfuls of bone meal and mix it well in to give the box a real good feed. A bit more for look. Right, so that's the compost ready. Now to repot. This is the small pots I'm using. A little bit of terracotta in the bottom because all the soil would fall out as they're rather big holes. So I'm rounding the bottom of the compost off because what I've done is I've rounded the root ball off so it'll sit lovely and snug in the pot. I'm in full contact with the soil and no air gaps. Then just filling in the inch cap around the edge, firming it in as we go around. Now on to the other two, exactly the same routine. onto the last one. I'll show you this from a side angle so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So here you can see how snugly it fits in. Put about an inch gap around the edge and then you just take your glove off so you can get your fingers down to uh, pack the soil down to make sure there's no air gaps. And there you go. And that's it, all three repotted. 
Now on to reshaping. Right, so I've decided to go with a brand new style of topiary. It's the first time I've tried this. Uh, I'm going to go gentle for a while, just till I'm certain of the style. I can always take a bit more off, where it's not so easy adding a bit on. Right, so here I'm trying to visualise how it's going to look, making sure the design is working. Being very careful with the first one, as the other two will follow and match this exactly. Well, that's the plan. Right, I'm happy with that. I just need to get the top flat. I'm going to have to use the big shears to do that as I'm now sniffing into the hardwood. Right, that's that flat. Now to start stripping the branches upwards to a height of around 15, 16 inches, revealing the beauty of the stems. This type of topiary is not to everyone's taste, but I love it. And here's a little close up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And that's the first one complete. I will come back and perfect the style once all three are done. But for now, I'm happy with this. And now let's get on to the other two. I'll do the other two on a time lapse so you're not watching forever. Here we go. And this is a good time to mention that I've slightly changed my mind. The two that were in the ground, I'm gonna do slightly lower. This little fella looks like he's been to war and back. Poor little thing. I'm sure he'll pull through there. Just a little care and attention is all he needs. And there we go, all three done. And here's the two I perfected on the catwalk. Strutting their stuff, looking absolutely beautiful. I won't show you the third one because I don't want to embarrass the little fella. He feels like he's got no clothes on. And I hope you agree with me, they're looking absolutely delicious. So that's it for Chips Green World this week. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you'll join me next week. Have a great week everybody. Bye now.